Hello everyone, welcome to a DSP video, uh, and yes, you hear that? Nothing. Nothing is going on in the background because we got rid of all the fans from the basement. We're slowly, slowly making progress into getting the basement in tip-top shape. Uh, so, I don't know how long it's going to be, I don't know how long I'm going to be up in the, the tractor dining room, but who knows what's going to happen. Uh, you know, might, we might be able to uh, go back to normal in a matter of weeks to, to actually a month. Who knows? But, uh, I'm here to talk about DSP, obviously, so enough, enough of the chit-chat. I got Cleo here with me. Uh, she, she's fucking annoyed. So, uh, let's, let's watch uh, a few videos. I have a David Davidson video on deck, as you can clearly see. Then we got two Mr. Hut Stuff videos, and we got the Weekend Preview. We're not going to watch the whole weekend preview. I, I found the part where he talks about a particular thing. Uh, but let's get started. Let's start with this David Davidson video. Let me put on my uh, uh, bullshit headphones on. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Shrieking skulls will shock your soul and seal your doom tonight. Now, I don't want people to be alerted. People are like, oh my god, subs keep going down, subs keep going down. Alright, see, I'm looking into it. I'm trying to figure out what exactly is happening. Because if you guys haven't noticed, subs are going down ridiculous amounts now every day. And it would be one thing if subs went down by like, oh, okay, they went down by 20 today. Okay, that makes sense because typically, you know, I get anywhere between 10 to 20 subs in a day. How are subs going down by 40 or more a day? It doesn't even make sense. You know what I mean? It almost seems to me that either things are... People are being artificially unsubbed from like, the channel. I, I love how his fans are so concerned about the sub count. Like, I get it because they want either a goal to be hit or whatever. That, that That's that's fine. But it's like, they, they were like... Because I remember in the, uh, in the chat, people were like... Oh my god, the subs are so low. Like it was like kind of like a little over dramatic because you know, for example, uh, let's say that you know I donate. I did donate to uh, Indivisible uh, for that game to be made. You know, and, and when that was kind of close to not getting hit, by the time that the uh, campaign would be would be over, I was like, oh man, it'd be a shame if Indivisible is not gonna be made. But man, I hope. You know, this and that, but I wasn't like, oh, guys, individual would not be made. Oh, my God. Oh, like, it wasn't anything like that, you know. But his fans really, really take these sub goals too seriously. I mean, it's like, he makes a lot of money. But I wonder why he can't do a cheer goal, guys. I wonder why. <laughs> or people who were subbing and resubbing, they're not being counted. Okay. This doesn't seem to be, it just doesn't seem to be accurate. Honestly, I don't know why... Resubs would count. Well, actually, no, no, I, 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 I know why now. I, 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 I literally said that that was wait a second, because when you, uh, when your sub runs out, that you're you down a sub, but if they resub, you're back that one sub. So, I don't know why I, I didn't think that wasn't uh, the case. But the other thing is, is that it could just be people not resubbing, because they may not be happy with these sub goals or or what DSP has become. Because when he started doing these, like, sub-goals or, you know, whatever, it was, like, kind of stuff that was, like, oh, Metal Gear playthrough. I mean, yeah, th those weren't sub-goals, but he did he did throw in... Oh, that might have been tips, actually. I don't know. I don't remember anymore. Fuck. Uh, but the indie goals was the, was the last one, but... He, okay, here's the thing. Oh, my God. I, I'm all over the place. But the thing with these sub goals is that you know the first one he did was the indies marathon oh my god i'm sorry about that too but the uh it was the indies marathon and you know that's that's something that people would, would you know would kind of want because he plays indie games he get you know you know vote all that kind of stuff his other goals after that were just kind of dsb tries it cooking shows like Stuff that wasn't really that interesting as a DSP fan. 
Uh, it's just not. And then he has the, but now his 500 sub goal is a uh, patron's choice. But the thing that's weird is that January sub goal was Indy, Indy's Marathon. We get to February and it's still, of, and that, and the goal that they were working to then was the cooking show. Like, these sub goals are a little not realistic. Or it is not fair, because some of these goals are as much as another goal. Like, it's... Oh my god, I am like trying to explain this. Like, the Indies Marathon was 450, right? And then the 500 was the shower video. Then 550, I think, was the dual ups of, of these tries it. Then 600 was the cooking show, but then he lowered that to 550 uh, during February. So these increments are a little weird because a game marathon stream is just as much as the DSP tries it sub goal. Like you should be a little bit more uh, lenient with what he's offering. Like instead of fifty for a for a DSP tries or fifty subs for uh, you know a cooking show, it should be like okay, uh, you know five hundred. Let's take his current sub goal for example, five hundred, and we'll do a a. Uh, a patron's choice playthrough, all right. But if you do, if you get 450 or no, 460. I'm gonna use this current sub count right here, 416. And let's say that we get 420 uh, during this month. I will do a DSP tries it. All right, bam. And then you know you hit 420. They're like, okay, 4, uh, 30. We do this, like. You know, like, get, get something that's a little bit more, like, uh, open and custom for these sub-goals. Like, doing it by the increments of 50 is kind of realistic, sure, but what you get for a level 50 for that increment of subs just doesn't really match. Like, if you get a, if you get a marathon game stream for a 50 incremental sub count, then, you know, why is these we tries it as much as that? You know, it doesn't really, it doesn't really make sense. Okay, it doesn't. How is it that it's going down and down and down and down when we're getting 20 subs a day, yet the total goes down by 20 a day? I'm sorry, but last month I didn't gain 40 subs a day. It but the thing is that I like this logic. Oh, since I didn't get 40 subs a day in one month, that I can't, I shouldn't be losing 40 subs a day. But the thing is that the old subs that were there might just be canceling their their sub. Like they might start now to not sub anymore. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I just I have a lot of fun apparently, but um. What was I gonna say? God damn it. Subs are going down. People are, are not subbing anymore. Oh, there was a there was a sub glitch with Twitch. Kind of rhymes, glitch Twitch. But uh but that since the Indies Marathon, even before the Indies Marathon was fit. So I do kinda think he can hit five hundred again, but I don't think he'll get over five hundred. I don't think he'll get five fifty ever. 500 might be even maybe doable, but I don't think he's going to get that much because the other thing that you have to kind of um, understand is that DSP pulls in roughly 400, 500 views. He struggles to get 500, but he gets like roughly 400, like between 400 and 500 usually. The subs are going to reflect that because if, let's say, 400 are loyal fans, let's say that those are the people that are willing to give DSP money. He, he should get 400 subs at, with that amount. Over 400, you might get some subs for that one month and they might not sub again, or they might sub inconsistently, or they might sub whenever they, or, you know, whenever they please. So it might be hit or miss with those people that are 400 plus. But DSP doesn't really think about that. He thinks that if, if I get 500 views, that's 500 subs. Not necessarily that's exactly what he thinks, but he roughly thinks something with that estimation that if he could get 500 views, he should get, you know, 
over 400 subs, but that might not be the case all the time. It just didn't happen. If I remember last month, if you remember in February, we were already down. And we were trying to regain where we were. So how am I, how am I, you know, I didn't get 40 subs a day last month in February. That didn't happen. So there's no way they could be going down by 40 a day. Well, you could be going down 40 a day by those 40 people canceling their subs. In total, the accumulate, like the cumulative subs that were there, even before February, might just now be canceling their sub. Because I'm pretty sure that Twitch gives you the option to cancel a sub whenever you want. I, I assume that's the case. Like, you know, sure, you, you know, you might say that, well, why cancel? I mean, you can just wait until the uh, sub runs out and get your money's worth. But, you know, some people might want to just cancel immediately because they might want to cancel immediately so that they might not get auto-renewed. Who knows? But, you know, it is what it is. My birthday! I guess we're about to find out. Oh man. <laughs> Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Because a vision softly creeping left its seeds while I was sleeping. And the vision that was planted in my brain. Um, <clears throat> I definitely think something's wrong with subs. I do. I believe that there's something going on. Um, so that being said, we'll see what happens. Uh, I actually have sent a message to Twitch to see if they can get an answer for me on what could possibly be going on. Um, because honestly, I'll be honest with you guys, it wasn't bad. Like February, people are like, oh, your subs were down. Yeah, but February was not a bad month at all in perspective. Of the best months that I've had on Twitch, I think it was either the third or fourth best month I've ever had. But, like, subs doesn't... Like, February was a good month for him because he got good tips and good and good bits. He didn't get a lot of subs. So why is he just, like, why is... Does he think that people who cheer are going to sub? Like... ...had. And even though, oh, subs are way down. Yeah, but I actually did decently. So I don't understand. With subs... Be, oh, subs are inc incredibly down yet... I still did good. It doesn't even make sense. You see what I mean? Like, but like, what does he mean by doing good? Is he talking about cheers, subs, tips? Like, is he talking about subs in general? Like, oh, I did good in February for subs. Like, I assume he's talking like that about that, but subs are down. So. Okay. I do. I think there's something going on. Mm -hmm. And I, I, at the very least, I remember. Want... Remember when you go to Twitch, you know you're constantly uh nagged to give subs, to push subs and product. <laughs> Twitch to look into it. You know what? You know what? I, I really, I really need to get that clip. I need to cut that clip up. I need to, find, I need to download that video, find that clip, splice it, and just have it be like a a, a hockey command, and just hit it every time we talk about subs. Or something. I should definitely do that. I'm gonna invest in that someday. And and you, and it's gonna be amazing. Try to figure out if there is something going on because again, how am I going down, down overall 40 subs a day when I never got 40 subs in one day? It never happened. It's not possible. And especially if we keep seeing this. You um, could be going down 40 regardless of what you made the previous month though. Like is he assuming that if you renew your sub, you're locked into sub forever? Like well, since you subbed in February and now it's uh, June, you cannot cancel your sub. Now you're locked in forever. You're my sub forever now, bitch. Like, what? Okay. If we keep seeing this over and over where every day it's dropping by like 40 subs, there's no way. It's not possible. Not possible. Crack. Crack. The reason I'm upset is because I'm possible. <laughs> I like the ducks. The reason I'm upset is because I'm bored. Because no one's really interacting. You now, I oh, tell you guys, these the reason these streams work is when there's a lot... This is during the fun I, I mean, I keep forgetting, special hangout stream. That's that's what this was. That, it wasn't a, a the F word, guys. It wasn't that kind of stream. And if, if someone says that, they're full of shit, okay? And Cleo will get them. Well, is Cleo blocking the face cam? <laughs> you know, I'm going to leave it. 
Fuck it. <laughs> A lot of excitement and interaction around them. People have fun stuff to talk about and stuff instead of talking about Pizza Hut and how the games are boring. Then why not talk about Pizza Hut? Why don't you talk about Pizza Hut then? If your chat is talking about Pizza Hut, why don't you talk about Pizza Hut? And maybe, maybe you should be talking to your stream chat. Like, it, it it's so annoying when he's talking to his stream chat like this, and his stream chat's like okay with it. Like that. That's why I think his his fans are slaves, because they, they are forced to do everything for him. They're forced to talk to him. They're forced to uh, talk about things that he wants to talk about. Like, if, you, if, you have to, if you're a DSP fan, you cannot talk about what you want to talk about. You can. You technically can. But if you're saying that the stream is boring and, and all that shit, and DSP gets mad, he'll tell you that you shouldn't be talking to other people. You should be talking to him. So you'll, you'll never truly win that argument. Uh, it's just in theory... You can talk about what you want to talk about. It's just that, you know, if you complain about the stream's boring, they have no room to complain because you're not talking to him. Which is, like, dumb fucking logic. Because if I stream, and someone says, and if someone's, like, saying, like, you know, all oh, this is boring and, and, you know, the is not really engaging, I'm not going to blame the fucking stream chat for that. I'm going to be like, oh, okay, well, uh, you know, I should find something to talk about. Like, that, that, that's the whole point of fucking streaming. Like, you can't just always rely on stream chat to, to give you something to talk about, which I've learned over the times I've streamed. Because I used to always, when I stream, sit there and, and just, you know, like, look in chat and, and only want to talk about if chat's talking about something, but that's not really a good idea if you want to talk to your chat. If you want chat to be like, more interactive and you want to have a good time with the stream, you really have to open up and you really have to... Be more conversational, and the thing is that is that DSP has done that. He there there were times where he was conversational. However, these times that he got into the streak of being conversational always ended up being leading into a rant about YouTube or something that's fucking annoying, which is kind of sad because it's like DSP, you're fucking talking, you're you're saying things. Oh, you're talking about why YouTube sucks. And, and you just go back to sleep. It's like, and it's it's fucking annoying. It, it's it's so annoying when he gets close to being a conversational streamer that's interesting to listen to, and then he finds a way to kind of roadkill, like not roadkill, but crash it down all the way to the bottom just because he wants to fucking t uh, shit on fucking YouTube or whatever he wants to talk about, and it's kind of annoying because it's like he talks about YouTube all the fucking time. Like, it wouldn't be a, that big of an issue if he didn't rant about YouTube every pre-stream. Which are the games that you asked for, by the way. <laughs> yeah, laugh at your fucking fans. I, I, I just love that he has such, like, contempt for his fucking fans. Oh man, I wish he played Star Wars Battlefront 2 because PUBG is boring. PUBG has been always boring, by the way. It's never been fun. Uh, then he switches, then he's like, oh, yeah, I'm gonna play this game, and now it's boring. But you know what? It's also kind of funny that, that kind of, like, adds to, the, to this comedy, is that he claims that his stream chat also asked for PUBG, and that game is fucking boring as dirt. Ugh. You know, this would be like, so Saturday I'm gonna do an Indies Marathon. Are people gonna complain all day the games are boring, even though the patrons voted on them? And that's why I'm playing them. You know what I mean? Like, I can't fix that. I was playing... It's not the fucking games. It's you. You. Because, like, yeah, some people go to the streams for the game. And that is true most of the time. But obviously, you also want to have a good fucking commentator play the game. Because, like, yeah, you might, you know, watch... Like, you might watch the ESP stream... For a game that you never heard of or whatever, and it's like okay, that's the, but if the commentary is boring, you might just stay in that stream just to watch the game, you know, as long as you want, and then leave and never come back because there's nothing you want to go back to see this guy. No one's gonna leave the USB stream if you're just a casual viewer and think, man, I I really want to go back to that dark side Phil guy. Let's see what he's up to because the fucking commentary is boring. Like like you know that's why you know when you look at PUBG. He, he got a lot of views when he first started playing that game. And ever since we first started playing the game till now, it's been kind of dropping, 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 dropping. 
because those people were there for the game, and then they were like, well, why do I want to go back to this guy playing PUBG? His commentary is boring. I, you know, I could watch anyone else play PUBG and have a better commentary experience, etc., and they'll just do that. Like, they might just come in for one stream or two streams, and then never come back if they happen to find a better streamer. PUBG, and people said it was boring to play Star Wars. So I switched to Star Wars, now you can play as boring. You asked for it, that's why I changed. That's why I get agitated. It's not because of anything else, it's because I'm doing what you ask, and you still tell me it's boring. Well, then what do you want? What on earth do you want me to do? What boring games you tell me are entertaining when I interact with you? Well, then talk to me. Don't talk about Pizza Hut with each other in the stream chat. Yeah, talk to me. Re, not each other like normal people. Talk to me. Like, really? I'll hear that again. What? What on earth do you want me to do? What boring games you tell me are entertaining when I interact with you? Well, then talk to me. Because you talk to them. And, like, you could talk about Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut is, a, is fucking food. You know about food, Phil. You you did these be tries on fucking food. You didn't even talk about fucking Pizza Hut. And, and you're like, well, they're talking about Pizza Hut. Talk to me. Like, fuck. Like, come on. Come on. No one in stream chat is gonna say, is gonna, like, take you out of their conversation. Like, he think. Like, it's slightly different when you're in real life and two people are talking and you're kind of out the third person in that conversation and you're just kind of like, you know, you're either standing there and you kind of butt into that conversation. Sure, that's rude, but it's slightly different when you're streaming. That kind of etiquette is, is different because it's your chat room and you're streaming and it can also be, you know, fun to see, you know, oh, the streamer is actually listening to the conversation and and is actually contributing to the conversation. They don't have to, like, formally talk to him. It, it, it's, it's really fucking odd, because I don't see... Because it's something you don't really see a lot of people on stream do. Because it, the etiquette for streaming and in real life conversating is completely different. Because the streamer has the right, and so does like, the stream chatters, to kind of butt into other people's conversation in some, in, to some extent. I mean, unless they're talking about something personal, but if they're talking about something personal, it's going to be through messages. But, like, whatever is said in a stream chat is public, so that is innately open for people to kind of come in and, and drop their own two cents on it. You don't need a formal invitation to a conversation, and DSP keeps acting as if he needs to be invited to a conversation to talk about it. Like, they need to talk to him directly for him to, to, to give an opinion. Don't talk about Pizza Hut with each other in the stream chat. If it is, did 100 bit cheese, I feel like the patrons who voted were trolling you. No, here's the problem. Here's, and this is here what I say go. when I do these events where people vote and nominate stuff. They only look at it from a narrow perspective. They don't look big picture. If you look at the big picture, you know I've already played this game in a marathon before, and you know it won't work. Because if I just play through the so tutorial, hard, it's too guys. short, it's boring. Yeesh. If I continue a year and a half later, I won't know what the hell I'm doing. But that's it. I love that he is so... Like, I've said this many times, and he's never disappointed me with this. Every time he does a patron's anything, he he sounds so fucking annoyed. Like, the streams have, like, an air, an aura of annoyance to them. Like, it, it just doesn't sound like he has fun. Like, there, there, there might be exceptions to that. Like, there might be uh, streams of a patron event where... He might genuinely have a good time. Like, he might, you know, have fun. He might go, oh, this is fun, you know, this and that. But of the majority of patron events, he sounded annoyed and, and ticked about it. And this is one of them. He always, he always sounds like this. And it's like, you know, it's hard to get excited for a patron's event when he is so annoyed by them. People don't look big picture. Instead, they just look at this narrow vision. Is Darkest Dungeon a good game? Yes. Okay, Phil should play it, and they vote. Instead of looking back, to, oh, Phil played this in 2016, and it didn't work in the marathon then. Maybe we shouldn't vote it in now, but they don't do that. Then what's the point of giving the patrons the power then? Like, he should just leave fucking Patreon at this point. 
or or like change his fucking goals or change something. Like the whole fucking patron's choice, patron's vote, all this stuff, he clearly fucking hates. Like he always he always rigs fucking polls. All the time. And you know what? I'm gonna see something. Because he did a poll about fucking um what is he gonna play today, Wednesday? Uh, because he finished Grand Theft Auto, so he, he uh, has a poll of like, oh, should I play heavy range? Should I play, uh, you know, whatever? And I want to see what won. Because I th so, oh, of course, heavy rain won. I wonder why that won, guys. It won by 1%, because it's not like, you know, DSD bagged his fucking chat or his fans to fucking vote for it. Uh, I have heavy rain. Heavy rain. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Like, oh my god, fucking, like, he, he, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, Chrome crept out on, uh, fucking, uh, Twitter. But yeah, heavy, apparently heavy, heavy rain won. Of course heavy rain fucking won, what a garbage poll. It's not helping Bollywood win, but of course, all well, all of, all of the playthroughs be ruined by stream chat anyway. So it's it's, it's the same really thing good. like with Super Mario Sunshine last year. I told people I'm already playing a Mario game now. I'm playing Mario Odyssey in a month. Don't vote for Mario Sunshine. Mario Sunshine wins over abundantly as the winner of the poll, and it's like because that they had the power to vote. They wanted that game. It was called Patrons' Choice, like. It's the same thing with JRPGs. Like every time he gives like a patron's choice, he, he gives these rules and restrictions. It's like it was reasonable to say like, oh, these these games have to be accessible for me to play them. Okay, you know, fair enough. That that's fine. That's fine. You know, like if I did a patron's choice, I would say, look, I I have a Mac. I can't do PC games. I don't have a gaming PC. So you know, got you know, got be PS4 or PS3, 360. Or like Wii U, uh, gameplay or you know games, and that's fine because you know like I I am not gonna go immediately buy a P a gaming PC because I don't have the money for it. So that's fine. That's understandable. I I I, I understood that fine. That that was like the most reasonable restriction he had for these fucking events. But these but now these restrictions have got more ridiculous and like kind of fucking petty, and it's to the point where. He should just not be giving patrons power if he's going to give them these restrictions. Like, it should just be Phil Selection at this point. Or the DSP Hot Choices or whatever. Because obviously he doesn't like it when patrons have, have freedom. It, it's clear. Because, like, the Twitter polls, he openly puts the games in. Himself. Himself. He puts the games he would want to play in a poll and have his fans vote on it. But when you have a patron's choice where, you know, the, the patrons can nominate and do all this kind of stuff without his control, he doesn't like it. Only when it happens to fit his his likes, he's fine with. But when it doesn't, he loathes the fucking patron events. So it's like, then why have it? What's the point? Like, it it it, it blows my mind. It's like if Donald Trump, like, it's like Donald Trump won by the Electoral College. He wins and then complains about the Electoral College. It's like, then why are you complaining? You won with that. Whatever. I, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know if that, I don't think that example really worked, but, yeah, but still, he's complaining over something that he, that a system he uses. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't get it. I, I don't think it's it. trolling. It's just that people don't think big picture. You know, this is horrible. This is not working whatsoever. Yeah, the pages should really think what's beneficial for me and how I can make money off it. Not what they want to see, which is the, which I thought was the point of my patron that I made, but it, but spoiler, it's not. Okay, okay, Phil. I don't know what I'm doing. If I play the tutorial over again, it'll be boring and a waste of time. What I'm doing now is horrible and a waste of time. There's literally not a single reason for me to play Darkest Dungeon anymore, unless I'm going to do it as a full playthrough, which no one has ever requested. So, I'm done.
no one has requested it, probably because over the years, every time someone requests him to do an indie game as a full playthrough, he would say, well, you gotta vote for the next indie's marathon, okay? I'm not gonna do it because I'm playing a lot of games right now, okay? It has to be done through Patriot's Choice or Indies Marathon, okay? So, of course, no one has asked. To, for him to play Darkest Dungeon, because he always gives him that excuse. Like, it's gonna be the same thing with fucking Okani. Like, ugh, whatever. Whatever. And by the way, uh, that that's the nicest lighting DSP has had for face cam ever, and he'll never have lighting that good ever again, so uh, enjoy that while you can, guys. That's enough! Now I can actually go Jesus. play something that will be entertaining to the viewers and not me just wasting my fucking time on stuff that's a complete waste because it didn't work in the first marathon. The best part about this whole situation are the idiots in stream chat complaining, saying I donated like $600 to see a game. This wasn't a patron's choice playthrough and I don't do my goals off of patron donations anymore. I love that now he's, he is so angry. He, he does audible breath like, <gasps> people say this. Oh my god, he's like a fucking <laughs> raging bull. But the thing is, is that, yeah, technically he it wasn't a uh, patron event. It's a sub event, but the patrons had, you had to be a patron to nominate and vote for the games you wanted to see him play. So... The example that the guy said was kind of dumb because it didn't work and it triggered Phil to say it to sound right. If like if the person compl if the people in the stream chat were complaining, they should have said, "I paid five dollars to vote for this game, and now you know, etc." That'd be different. He he would he wouldn't be able to say anything then. But if they talk about fucking paying to the patron goal, which isn't the case. But who knows? Maybe, maybe that's what the stream chat said. And he's Twisting their words because he could do that too. So, morons, I do it off of subs. So you're so full of crap. <laughs> you're so one hundred percent fucking full. laugh. I hate, hate it so much. I do it too, like right now. <laughs> but um, uh, it's like they're not full of crap because they're not necessarily wrong. They're just wrong in the in the instance that it it wasn't a patron's event, but patrons. Voted for Darkest Dungeon. Holy oh, crap. That's the thing. No one... Oh, I really wanted to see Darkest Dungeon. I pledged $200 and I didn't get to see it. People paid $5 to see Darkest Dungeon. They paid $5 to nominate it and to vote on it. Okay. That's not what happened. What happened was people subbed to the channel, but we did this as a celebratory goal because of subs, and then patrons nominated and voted. No one pledged a hundred dollars to see a game, stupid. But I love the stupidity of Yeah, people. they've only pledged five dollars or more and voted for Dark Dungeon. You're you're not right, Phil. You're not you're, you're right in, in like you're half right, but you're mostly wrong. You're like ten you're like 5% right in what you just said, but like 95% wrong. Because people had to pledge to vote, and they wanted to see Darkest Dungeon. Uh. By the way, 18 subs, according to the, game, to the stream, plus there were three overnight. The so 21 subs yeah. I got today. Yeah, it's telling me still that I lost subs since yesterday. And that's what I mean about this sub count. By the I way, uh, a lot of people are saying that maybe it's PS4 is dying because it's it was this green for a long time. But I want to say this, though, because I've noticed this with OBS. So let's say you have two window captures. Because you might just have two window captures. One window capture for the PC setup and one for the console setup, right? So he had a PS4 setup. He turned out. He put his PS4 into rest mode, and OBS will just keep that frame in. I'll keep the uh, PS4 into rest mode as the last thing. It'll keep it, even though that might not be what the PS4 is showing on the TV itself. So, well, a little different, but.
yeah. on Twitch. I don't think it's right. There was no there was no day in February where I got forty subs in one day, and now I only got twenty new to ones today. So therefore, it... and before he uh, tells us that we have to trust him for the uh, sub goal, sub count, and not Twitch. So it's probably gonna do that pretty soon. Uh, if if it doesn't go back up to five hundred, he's gonna do that. I guarantee. I guarantee by the end of March, he if the sub count is not up to five hundred, he's gonna say, "Well, okay, guys, so it's the sub count still seems off. I'm gonna I'm just gonna go off by what I see and and, and that the sub goal sub count, okay? So you gotta trust me, re with the sub count." <sighs> And that's not going to work very well, if you, if you ask me, because uh, it's kind of sleazy. Like, because here's the thing with Patreon. With Patreon, there was more of a, of, a, of a window of doubt with how much you get from it. Uh, and I can vouch for that because I, I see it on my Patreon, too. So there was at least a window. A window. Sub count, on the other hand... I just don't know. I don't know. I'll have to see for myself or ask other Twitch streamers that have a sub counter about it and to see if it's accurate, if you know what these people would say isn't necessarily right and, and and see what happens. Because I'm gonna go off that off that more than anything else because it's really, really hard. To trust Phil, and that's the issue that I have with the, with this guy, is that he gets say he could be telling the truth, for all we know, but it's really hard to take his word for it because he has such a bad track record of honesty. Like, you know, if if let's say that you have a kid and your kid constantly lies to you, and you know they're lying to you, and they constantly lie, and then the one time they tell you the truth, are you gonna you're not gonna necessarily believe your kid? I mean, there might, might be different, there might be a context to it, sure. I mean, you know, there, there are going to be things you're going to believe that your kid be telling the truth, but like, you know, let's say homework, for example. Oh, Billy, do you have a home, do you have homework tonight? No, Dad, I, I didn't have homework. And then like, you know, as it goes on, you're like, you know, I, I doubt he doesn't have homework. He probably has homework. He's probably lying to me so he could watch TV or whatever. And then one day he could say that, oh, I, I got homework or something. And you could be like, uh, I, I don't know, I don't know, something, but like, it's, it's really hard to take his, point is that it's really hard to take him at his word. Went down by 20. This didn't happen in February. So I think that there is something wrong with subs on Twitch, but. <clears throat> All right. Next video is a Mr. Huff Stuff video. This one was good because uh, everyone, everyone, uh, it's eager to know about this, so let's watch this. The only other thing that I'll say, some people have been asking. Phil, will you be doing co-op with your girlfriend in a game like A Way Out? Maybe, I don't know. I just, uh, I've been bringing it up with her recently. Um, you know, I think she's going to look into it and see if it's a game she's interested in doing co-op with or not. Um, apparently Far Cry 5 has co-op. But I'll be honest, guys, I don't think that's going to be a game we're doing co-op in because I believe she's going to be uh, starting with work soon. And so it's going to be impossible for me to be doing an ongoing AAA playthrough where I can only play it when she's available because she's going to be working. See what I mean? See what I mean? Um, so that's probably not going to happen. But, you know, I'll be, I'll be real here. I'll be honest with everyone. Uh, there was a lot of apprehension because... A lot of apprehension. I, I would, if I could, uh, go through all of his pre-streams and, and just play... All of the moments where he hyped up playing co-op playthroughs and what he said. But I'm not going to fucking do that. It might take about a year to do that because his fucking pre-streams are, are long. I would ask if someone... <laughs> I mean, this is asking too much. So I understand if, if you don't want to do this, whoever is listening to this. So yeah, don't worry. I'm not, I'm not expecting this. I would, I would like to see someone go through all of the pre-streams and all the times that he talked about his girlfriend moving in and all that, all that, all that fucking hype. And I want to see that being into a montage of, of like all of these pre-streams of, of him talking about his girlfriend and then someone send that to Phil, but be sure to get the beginning of it, like, you know, the beginning of it, like, you know, like, you know, what he said before that, then he goes into the, the uh, girlfriend stuff, 
And then get the outro of it, too, a little bit of the outro of it. So he knows the concept, the context, because he's going to say, we did get the context, dude, okay? But, I mean, that, that might be a little too ridic ridiculous, but someone should just at least, at least, okay, you know what, this would is, this is be, be better, this would be better. If someone is willing to make a forum account, they have a VPN, I don't have one of those. I'm not that I'm not that tech savvy guys, okay? I, I'm I'm a fucking terrible internet person, I know. But let's say that someone goes to the forums, gets a pre-stream of what DSP said about, oh, we're gonna be doing co-op together, it should be videos, is that all that stuff and, and all the hype that he put behind his girlfriend moving in. And someone just say, Hey Phil, why did you say all this stuff to the hyper up if you were gonna be um, apprehensive. <laughs> uh, but he's, but that, that thread is going to be probably deleted because he deletes any thread that calls him out. Uh, I know this because I've done that before. I did a, uh, a thread specifically showing people, oh look, see, he talked about how he wants Dragon Ball Fighters to be dumbed down when he said he, he uh, fighters should not be dumbed down, and that thread got deleted. It was that or something. It was that thread or another thread I made where I specifically called him out and, sh and showed that he had a blatant hypocrisy and he, he deleted it. And I sat there I was like, huh. Let's continue. To have her be in a, her, let's say she wants to be in, in a way out or even in Far Cry 5 or anything moving forward as a, you know, as a co-op event. Um, there's a lot of apprehension. Because as you guys know, there's a lot of negative jerks on the internet. And you know that no matter what, even if it's the best playthrough ever made, and, you know, it's the co-op's working well, and we're gelling, and we're doing well, and whatever game we play, whatever game it may end up being, right? It could be this month, it could be next month, it could be six months from now, who knows? But you said there was a game coming soon that you're both looking interested in doing co-op. What happened to that game? Did that get delayed by six months? What happened to that game? You didn't give us the title of that game. It's almost as if he lied. See, see, see. Here's the thing that that is annoying about his fucking fans is is that they always fall for DSP hype hype train. They fall for the hype train, and they never get. They never follow through. They never follow through. They never say there's like, wait, you said this and you didn't do it, and. You know, if it was a circum, if if he changed his mind, etc. Okay, I mean that's kind of shitty to change your mind as soon as you moved in. That's kind of fucked up. But you know, nothing happened. And, and any, if anything, he'll still file the information without her being in a fucking video. What more? What more could you get with her being in a video in a, in a co-op playthrough? That we don't already know. She had she played games before. We've seen her gameplay channel. People already made horse jokes about her. People are already making jokes about about uh how shy she is and playthroughs and all that. And and that's you know, you can say that sure that's shitty and that might be negative and unfair, but it's not as bad as half the shit that DSP got. It, to be to be fair. And I'm not gonna say that DSP didn't deserve some of so much shit he got thrown at him. I'm not going to say that he didn't deserve it. I don't think he deserved the swatting and shit like that. But that's a whole other, a whole other video. But like, I said this once. I said this before. If if you're not, if you're going to do stuff online on the internet, so you got you gotta be somewhat okay with being shat on. Like I I went through so many comments in all my videos on this channel of people saying I'm, I'm no, li no life, I'm Walter Jr., <laughs> and all this other stuff. And, you know, instead of getting angry about it, I mean, that I, there might be times where I might, get, might, might have been triggered. Sure, I'm not going to say that, you know, oh, I, 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 I take criticism just fine. There might be times where I might lose my cool. But, you know, it's, it's just kind of human nature. But the thing is that it's how you react. Because if you're aware that you get triggered and all that other stuff, that's fine because at least you own it. Like, yeah, I might get into like uh, heated arguments, you know, from time to time, but I'm aware of that. I might try not to do that as much, but you know, I'm aware of it. It's not like I'm sitting there, I get baited, I get triggered, I start, then I say, 
I'm I'm not angry. It's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> uh, okay. You're gonna get these assholes, and they're gonna take the gameplay. They're gonna chop it up. They're gonna be nasty to her and everything. Oh, you know, don't worry, don't worry, Phil. No one's gonna be nasty to her. They're gonna be nasty to you. The thing is that in order for them to be nasty to her, is if she fucking antagonizes people like Leanna did, and, and even then, like the the shit that Leanna that when people use Leanna and they're this say dope, but they mostly used her to kind of be a little DSP. So, so in a way, they kind of made Leanna look better than Phil, which is kind of funny. It's kind of funny if you look back at it, because some of the playthroughs, some of them, I mean, sure, some of them kind of shit on her, too, but, like, some of the things I don't play is kind of use Leanna to kind of be a little DSP. So I think he's more afraid of someone using Cat to belittle him. Because I, I guarantee... S I have a theory. This is, on, this is a work in progress Theo theory, or a theory. Again, let me know which one you want, the theory or theory, or theo theory. Theo theory, theory, I'm going to go theo theory. A work in progress of a theo theory is that I think they're already kind of... It's already the stagnation period of their relationship. Uh, it's, you know, like, go back to KO Gaming as an example, because it's, it, it's always go it always goes back to KO Gaming. He, gets, he does that new... Home for the Revolution video, and he's like, wow, you know, I'm gonna put effort into Kyo Gaming, and, and it's gonna be great. And then Kyo Gaming kind of flatlines, and he just kind of stays at that. And, and then it goes on a downward slope. I mean, it might go up a little bit more, but it's gonna slowly go down. And that's where Cat and DSD relationship is right now. It's already like, you know, oh, she moved in, oh, we're gonna do something together. She's cooking, she's cooking, she's cooking, okay, and now we're, we're going. To the to the flat lane, okay. Well, you know she's making food still. Oh, she's she's good. We're watching movies. We're watching movies. We're watching movies. We're watching movies. We 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 we. Here's some pics of her arms in a in a video in a uh, Instagram post, and and that's pretty much it. There's not there's nothing else. I mean, it might change if she's gonna do she tries it as he says in this video later on. Spoiler alert! But I think. The relationship's already at a standstill, and once she starts working, it's it's gonna start doing this. Like it's already to the point where she might start evolving to the to the mom phase of the relationship. She was the daughter when she moved in because you know the way DSB talks about her, it's like you know she's a little kid. Oh, you got, I gotta help her set up her PS4. Oh, I took her to get a PS4 Pro. Okay. Oh, I helped her set that up. Okay. Oh, she, dro she drove for the first time. Oh, baby's first uh, word. So, so she was the daughter phase, but now we're getting to the mom phase. She's slowly getting there. So once she gets that job, and she starts to realize that, that she's doing all the work in the house, she is going to start throwing her big swinging dick around. And she's going to be like, okay, Phil, you know what? You need to fucking pick up your Instagram, and he's going to be exhausted, he's going to be unhappy, and it, get, it will get to the point, it will get to the point where he, she will say the J, the J-O-B word, and he's going to fucking freak out, and, he, and it's not going to be pretty. That might not happen this year, but it's going to happen, because if you have a job, and you come home to a person who is doing absolutely nothing but playing video games, and has to beg strangers for money, it's going to strain some people. It's going to strain someone. Like, it's different if you stream and you get successful and, and you're successful at it and, and you make it enough money doing it. That's one thing. But, if, but you know, eventually she's going to start work, she's going to working, and come back, and then he's gonna, and she's going to hear, I need you to sub, okay? Uh, we need to hit the sub goals. How are we going to pay my taxes? My bills? And she's gonna be. She's gonna say to herself, "I have a job, and I'm stuck with this guy who doesn't know if he's gonna be able to pay the fucking bills." So, so, so it could it could be that, or you know, DSP is afraid that once she starts being in videos, she will break the mind conditioning, the brainwashing that Phil has put onto her, 
and she will start to be a free thinker and be like, holy shit, DSP is an asshole. Time to go. Because the thing is that she is going to be in the same room, the same room playing the game. So she will see how he reacts to chat, how he reacts to this. But the other thing is that, you know, I, that just came to my mind, is that when he's with someone doing co-op, he's a different person. He is a completely different person. And he is afraid of having his commentary change with her in a room, and he's going to be nervous, and he's going to be like, uncomfortable. It, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be like the Nier Automata stuff all over again. I can't, I can't play the game. You're in here. <laughs> Distracted me, okay? Oh my god. And it's going to start going, you know. And she's going to be like, I want my apology. And she's going to be like, this. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to be very awkward. It's going to be very awkward. That's one of the major reasons why <laughs> we don't or we haven't shared a ridiculous amount of stuff. Because, I, you know, as you guys know, people now take anything that I put on the internet, and they spin it into a negative, you know? Okay, like, like what? Oh, Kat is playing Overwatch. Oh, that must mean she loves Overwatch more than Phil. How does that affect him? That's like if someone said, like, well, Cleo eats carrots. I guess Cleo loves carrots more than Theo. And it's like, I, I mean, that, that might be true. She might love carrots more than me, actually. I mean, I, I guess that's a bad example. But, um... But let's say that Cleo loved me. Let's say. Let's say that she that she allowed me to pick her up and pet her and, and all this kind of stuff, play around with her, all that kind of stuff. And she eats carrots. And I post a picture of her eating a carrot. And uh, then someone says, Oh, eats carrots, see? She loves the carrot more than Theo. I'm not going to sit there and be like, God, that's a fucking negative. And be like, okay. <laughs> because, like, it's not going to matter. It doesn't matter. Like, and the thing is that he also said when he was hyping her moving in was that, oh, once she's here, it's not going to matter what people say. It sounds like it does matter. So he, yet again, proved the detractors right. Because, because honestly... Uh, this, this might be something that Detroit's been, just been doing just, you know, regardless or without them thinking about it, but when he hyped, like, it's, it's got the same thing when, when he hyped how people are not going to find any information on her on the internet, and then the second she moved in and saw her face, he found her Twitch, uh, Twitter, and YouTube accounts immediately, right? But, I also think that a lot of this kind of negative, like, Oh man, she's a horse and this and that and, and all this kind of stuff. The maid is missing uh, meme that Trey started is it was just to kind of bait Phil because we all know when he says he doesn't care about something, he really fucking cares about. Like, I don't care about YouTube views. And then he, he talks about YouTube views. Same with El Presidor. Actually, El Presidor is a funny, funny fucking story and I can't wait to see what today's piece stream is going to bring because. Uh, he has been talking about El Presidor for like four days. It's amazing. And, and the thing is that El Presidor is kind of a meme of himself because uh, he was known back during the PS3 era to kind of being a big PlayStation 3 fanboy because he would be like, oh, you fucking Gears of War, fuck Gears of War, PlayStation 3 is the best, you got, you got resistance, all this kind of stuff. Um... Uh, and I, and I think he was honestly trolling with that kind of stuff. I used to think that he was being legit. But, I, but you know, the more, the more I saw of him, the more and more of a, of a troll he came, out, came off to be. And that's kind of what, what, he, what he is. And then he starts talking about DSP, and DSP kept talking about it. And now it's like this turf war between a, a unsuccessful YouTuber that no one finds funny and a YouTuber that people would kind of make fun of or find funny, and they're and they're colliding. Like, yeah, you could say that El Presidor is a lol cow, but he's kind of like a, a at least he's a funny guy to listen to. Like, he's kind of fun to watch, and he has good commentary on things because he's he's a funny guy. He he he's just something, man. Oh, and 
It's ridiculous. It is. You know, it's even stuff like, I've posted up, there's been two pictures of her posted up since she moved in. There's been a lot of pictures of stuff she's cooked and, and made, you know, for recipes and stuff. But outside of that, there hasn't been a lot that's been shared on purpose. Yeah, so so basically he wants his fans to just know Ket as a cook. Like that, honestly, that's worse. That is honestly worse than just showing us a picture of her just sitting in a chair. Uh, because the, because all it comes off as is that she's not that this isn't a loving relationship. It's just look, guys, she cooks for me, and and she's just food, food, food. Like it just doesn't look like a loving or healthy relationship. Like, I mean, come on. Like you know that I that you know. I take care of Cleo, and and the pictures I post are kind of like varied pictures of her. I don't just show her eating carrots, so like obviously you guys know Cleo does more than just eat carrots. She likes to lounge around. She's a very like relaxed, chill bun, or she puffs up when she's angry. So you know you see Cleo do other things. You don't see Cleo just eat carrots, but whatever. Ugh, that's. Because the more private that we keep stuff, you know, the less risk there is of people harassing us or getting into our shit or trying to get personal info or saying nasty shit about people. Personal people info. It. Personal info. What personal info can you get that you already can't find? We know her name. We know what she looks like because you posted a picture of her, Phil. If you posted a picture of her, then it's okay to have her in a fucking video. Is she just gonna walk on camera and be like, Hi guys, my social security number is this, my home address is this, and my family is this. And you know, it's like, do you really think she's gonna fucking do that? Like, is she, like, I, I don't get this. I don't get what more info can we get of her, of her being on a video that we already don't have. If anything, we can, we can dig more into her with the information we already have. But the only way people are going to fucking do more malicious shit to, to Kat, that's more than what she, what's already going on, is if she fucking went on stream and says, Fuck you guys, you're a piece of shit, human being, filth, fuck you, garbage, hope you die. Then, worse shit's going to happen. But if she just sits there and it's like, you know, Oh, wow, this game is fun. Oh, this game sucks. Oh, you know, whatever. No one's going to give a fuck about her. But if she starts antagonizing people, guess what's gonna happen, Phil? Because that's how people started shit with you. You antagonize everyone. That's why you have like fucking Tevin's, me, uh, David Davidson's, Mr. Huth's, uh, and all those other people talking shit about you because you antagonize people. So all Kat has to do in order for her to not get shat on is literally not to be a shitty person. And that's not that hard, unless you're a shitty person by nature. Like, if she starts go talking about, like, fucking white supremacy on camera, then maybe, maybe it's not a good idea to put her on camera. But, you know, I don't think she's a white supremacist, so, so it should be fine. I, I don't, I don't get this. I don't get this logic. <clears throat> so we know, fully. That once we eventually, you know, decide to start doing more stuff where she's showing up in my content, let's say DSP tries it or a game playthrough or whatever, that there's going to be assholes that no matter what, they're going to do negative stuff. Now, we know it, right? We know it. But at the same time, you know, you got to say it's kind of annoying because we know it's going to happen. So let's just not do it or, or and let's just be apprehensive about it. But we know it's going to happen. If you know it's going to happen, then it shouldn't fucking bother you. And, and, you know, the thing is, is that he, he kept saying, Well, see, uh, it's okay if she uh, gets uh, uh, attacked when she's with me because, you know, she'll have me. Uh, we have each other to support each other. Okay, you have each other to support each other. That's pretty good. Oh, but we don't want to do it because it's going to be annoying. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, at least Cleo... At least Cleo, you know, she may not like me. She might she might be annoyed or, or feel threatened by me coming to her cage. But at least she does something about it. At least, at least, you know, she fucking deals with it. She deals with it 
better than fucking you do, Phil. And she's a fucking rabbit. A rabbit is smarter than you, Phil. But of course, Cleo is the smartest spawn. I, I can't I can't say she isn't. We would like to just do put out positive stuff and have fun stuff to share with everyone. That's kind of the mentality I always had in the past was, oh, everything that I put out there could be positive and positively shared. And then it just turned over the years into just negative, nasty, toxic shit that happens to me, right? Um, I don't want to say anything. I, 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 so it sucks. Because yeah. I know that many of you are, are, you know, especially those of you in the stream chat right now, right? Um, I do know many of you are, are, are you know, big fans. You want to see me? He fucking hyped her to be moved in, used her to get his dumbass slaves to pay for her to pay on the fundraising. Yeah, I mean the uh, December special super happy stream, uh, and and now he's just like, okay, well she's here, don't care. Like he made like what ten thousand. Uh, she he made like over three thousand after he announced his fucking tax situation in uh, in November. He made three k in a weekend, and he made a lot during the fucking uh, Christmas week. And he's telling us that he can't show her, but he used her to get people to get people's money. But he's not a fucking con artist, guys. No, no, he he's he's not. He's not. He, he didn't scam anyone. Everyone's happy. Everyone loved it you know do stuff with with cat and, and share you know our experiences together and share fun gameplay together and all this stuff and you would enjoy it it's going to be a positive thing for you Obviously. but you got to understand at the same time there's going to always going to be this negative toxic element of idiots toxic who stalk me every every little moment that i do um and i really you know i'm dreading it i am dreading it that if we were to do it that you already posted a fucking picture She's already online. Oh my god. It's like he has like this. It, it, it's like Kat is some like superhuman or, or an alien. And, and he's trying to protect her from the government. From the G-men. Well, well, if she's on camera, no, that's what it is. You know, he told us. He told us she was an alien before. And we didn't take him. He didn't. He, we didn't take him seriously. But you know what? You know, she probably is a fucking alien. You know. What? Let's see if we can get an image of her. We need to get an image of her for uh, for uh, science. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna get a uh, image of cat. Um. Let me do it Instagram. Instagram. That's gonna give us the correct picture of of the uh, alien. Look. Guys, do you think a human looks like this? I mean, that's exhibit B. This is exhibit A. I, guys, she has to be an alien. She has to be an alien. He told us that we didn't believe him. She's an alien. She is. Uh, she, the human costume that she wore probably doesn't work on video. It probably works in, in a photo, but doesn't work in a video. So that's why she can't be in a, in a, uh, Gameplay, co-op, commentary, whatever. If she could, she might be off camera, but she can't be on camera because she's an alien. See, now, now, now I know what you guys might be thinking, but Theo, she has a YouTube channel. She, look, you know, computers, all right, computers. That's all you need to know. Alien technology. She she left her alien technology back where she came from. You know, that's why when she moved to Washington. None of her alien technology went with her. She had to leave. She had to leave that in a hurry. Her her phone was alien te technology. She had to leave that behind. Dude, she's an alien. It, it all makes sense. It adds up perfectly. Why she get, why she needs to get new clothes? Why she needs a new phone? Why uh you know she needed to buy a new PlayStation Four? She's an alien. Oh my god! I figured it out. Phil, you, you you're dating an alien. And, and that's why he's apprehensive. He's afraid that the government is going to break down his door and, and get her from him. Obviously. Obviously. You know, why else would he be this secretive, get? right? I don't know. I don't know because we haven't done it yet. You know what I mean? Um, so, there, you know, a lot of people have been speculating and asking, gee, will she be in anything or whatever? You know, we don't know. Is there a desire for her to be in, in, in videos and in gameplay and stuff? Absolutely there is. You know? 
I would love to do you know a vlog of the house right now, walk through, show you the house, how it looks now with her stuff in it, and with her showing off her, you know, some of the stuff that she does during the day. Uh, or like I said, if and when we do start DSP tries it again, there really hasn't been anything. You know, I've been looking, and there really hasn't been anything new or interesting to do a DSP tries it on recently. So in that regard, that's why there hasn't been one in a couple weeks. But if and when there is new food items and stuff, all right, uh, you know, then <laughs> the burp man. Um, then I will be, uh, you know, resuming that series no matter what. And of course she'll be in that series. All right. Doesn't know if she'll be in, uh, in, in, uh, co-op gameplay, but she will be in, uh, in DSP Tries It. That, that, that makes sense. All right. Um, but when it comes to things like gameplay and stuff like that, yeah, I don't know. It, you know, we are. If she's going to be in DSP Tries It, then you might as well have her in co-op gameplay at that point. It hurts my fucking head. Apprehensive. No? I know for a fact that, you know, if we make a fun playthrough and we're enjoying it and having fun and the streams are good, you know, that's what we're going for. But who's going to turn that into negative, nasty shit? And we know what's going to happen. So, you know what I mean? Like, it's. You know what? Maybe if you didn't say, if you don't talk like this, no one would make it to a negative playthrough. Like, he almost is saying this so that people would do that and then he would just not do co op with her anymore. Because I guarantee he hates doing co-op, he hates doing multiplayer, he wants, he's selfish. He doesn't want to play with other people, he wants to be by himself all the time. He only wants Cat around to cook for it, to be a slave. And, 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 and you know, that, that's, that's sad. That, that, that is kind of sad, that he, that his fans paid her way to move with him. And she thought that she was getting a nice boyfriend, but she's just honestly there just to cook for him. And and to be his uh, slave, like it's uh, it's it's just annoying, and and it's like, like I almost just don't, like I I didn't care about that cat being gameplay throughs anyways. The only reason why I'm like talking about it in this part of the video is because he just, go he this is just an insane rant that doesn't make sense. If you don't want her to be in a playthrough, fine, but don't hype her, don't hype it up. He should have hyped it up. And he shouldn't even address this. He should have just said we were talking about it and we decided maybe, but we're just thinking about it right now. I know I said in the past that she would be, but since then, I don't know. Uh, I just don't know at this point because I kind of want to do my thing and, and maybe, or something. But instead, he's like, well, if I do it, it's going to be negativity and, and the trolls are going to come in and all of this stuff, but it's stuff that has already happened, and that and that's what's annoying. It, it's like you're he's it's like you teach a kid how to draw how to ride a two wheel bike. Like you, he can ride a two wheel bike. Like, you know, he does it one time, and then you put the training wheels back on. It's like what's the point? Why put the training wheels back on? He knows how to ride a fucking bike. It's kind of like the double-edged sword. We know there'll be a big positive, but there'll also be a big negative, and that's why we certainly have not jumped or rushed into anything like that. All right. <clears throat> so anyway, there you go, because I know some people have been asking, oh, what about this? What about that? You're playing this co-op game. You're going to do this co-op. We're no, we're certainly not in any situation where we're jumping into co-op. When we do it, we want it to be right. We want it to be the right time. Right, right. What the fuck is this? Are you having a baby? What does that fucking mean? You're playing co you're playing video games. Oh, it has to be the right time, the right place, the right the, the stars have to align perfectly. The sun has to be over the horizon just right. The second aim has to be at the right time. Uh, you know, uh uh cat has to be in the right mood. It has like it, you're playing fucking video games. Like when uh, when you hang out with your friends, do you sit there and be like okay, uh Billy my friend Billy, uh, um, it's, is it the right time for you to come over and, and hang out and, and play video games? Is, is it the right time? I don't know. It doesn't feel right, guys. Never, never mind. Let's not do it. It's not the right time. What the fuck is this? I don't, I don't get it. I don't fucking get it. You know what I mean? Um, something that I don't know sense. what you mean. That would be, would also, you know, hopefully we're ready for it. 
So we'll see. What's there to be ready for? The game a game releases with co-op. How are you not ready when the game comes out? Like, oh, way out is a co-op game. You're telling me, Phil, that you don't know if that's gonna be the right time to play co-op, a game that's built around it. Like, I I said this back before she moved in. Oh, you know the perfect playthrough that they're gonna do together is a way out. It's like the perfect game. It's a new game release. Uh, it's kind of hyped because of, of what it is. And it's co-op. But now he's saying, well, it has to be the right time. That's not going to be the right time. A game that's built around co-op that you want to play. We'll see moving forward right now. No guarantees, no promises. But hopefully that addresses some of the questions that people have been asking It, about it doesn't okay? address shit. <clears throat> it's garbage. All right. All right. And here we go. Bionichu literally must have carrots in Ten minutes of tax. But Phil, baby. why didn't you put away any money for the tax? I just said I did. Boy, you don't listen. This is selective hearing from people who want to be jerks. Okay? Jerks. Selective hearing. I did put aside some money. The problem is that the money that should have went towards the federal taxes, right, ended up going all towards these state taxes, ended up going towards the fees for my new tax attorney, which I've already paid thousands of dollars, which obviously I would have, should have gone towards the federal taxes. You know what I mean? All the money that should have went towards the federal taxes went towards the state taxes in January, thousands and thousands of dollars. So that's why now I don't have the money for this coming up. And that's also why the federal taxes are higher. <clears throat> By honest, you, you weren't gone for a little bit and you didn't miss it. You were here for the whole thing. You're just being a jerk. Because you're a jerk all the time. Wow. <laughs> we're wow. not stupid. Again, I swear there's people in the stream chat. They act like jerks every day. On purpose. They try to take jabs at me because they think I'm not looking at the stream chat. And then they are, oh, oh, I, I, I wasn't here. You were here the whole time. We saw you talking the whole time. You're just a jerk. Stop wow. being a jerk. Okay. Good way to talk to your, your fans there. Shout so. out to... Uh, critical for days. Yeah, yeah. We just did a 25 bitch years. As I've noticed that there are many kids that have gaming PCs. Most of them are spoil spoiled brats that whine to their parents to buy them whatever they want. What solution or what is the solution to this? Good parenting. <clears throat> Good parenting because sadly, uh, what's happening and this is you know what I've I've observed. buying a kid a gaming PC is spoiling them. So a kid's not supposed to get it. So what if he wants to play PC games? He's not supposed to. Like observed personally in this modern world, parents just don't want to deal with their kids anymore. Yeah, parents don't want to deal with their kids anymore. Fuck, fuck you. Fuck off. Because like really, really, DSP is such a bad fucking parent. Or he's like, going to be an annoying one. Because, like, nope. Parents are not attached to their kid's hip. Like, at some point, you know, you need space. Like, you're not going to be with your kid all the time. Like, you know, it's not necessarily all... Like, like... Let's, let's, let's they want to have rampant there. sex? They wanna rampant have sex! Does he think that people are, like, fucking nymphomaniacs now? Like, like what, what the fuck is this argument? He is such a fucking grandpa of everything. He thinks that, that cell phone, that kids shouldn't have cell phones or smartphones, even though those are basically the only phones you could buy now. Because if you go to, like, a, um, to, like, a cell phone store, I mean, you, you might be able to find basic phones, Sure, like they even make some phones specifically for kids, but most of the time you can only buy smartphones. Like they they own the market for cell phones at this point, because like that that's what people want. They want these kind of phones. But okay, you know they want to bang each other's you know as much as they can. But Why? Then they with the consequence of it. So then when they well, like this is the. This is, 
kind of bordering on the on the debate with uh, abortions and, and all this stuff. And, and we don't need to get into that. We don't need to get into that in this fucking video. But the thing is, is that condoms are not 100% safe for uh, to prevent pregnancy because there, there is there is a margin of error with them. You can still get pregnant if uh, if a man wears a condom, etc. No, no, nothing is safe unless you do butt sex or you uh, or you tire tubes or you cut your uh, vas deferens, whatever you know, whatever you want to fucking do. You can you can do that, you can neuter yourself, whatever. Yippee! But like obviously, you know, if you have plans of of having a family at some point, you don't want to do that immediately. But like you're gonna say that they want to have rampant sex. No couple has rampant fucking sex. This isn't fucking HBO. This isn't Game of Thrones. Does he think we live in, in porn land or something? Like, okay. They eventually have the kids, right? Now it's like, oh, now I got this kid I got to deal with. But what about me and my life? You know, I'm all stressed because I have a job. I like how little he thinks of, of parents that might get stressed with having a kid. Kids are fucking stressful! They're fucking stressful because you don't know what the fuck they're gonna do. And you have to go to you have to go to work. So what are you gonna do? You say, well, well, job, I can't go to work. I have to take care of my nine-year-old kid at home. I mean, yeah, most of the time you, they still buy babysitters. They still pay babysitters to take care of the kid when they can't when they can't. And then when they get home, they get stressed. This is coming from a guy that takes a day off from streaming, he takes time off from streaming, like, and he has, and he has the fucking gall to be little parents that might want time to themselves from stressful days at work. And, I'm getting worked up over this because it's it's so it's the most ungrateful, ignorant fucking argument I've ever heard. I don't have kids myself, but you know I can I can understand. Having kids is fucking stressful because you have to, you have, you know, another mouth to feed. You have to pay for the school. You have to pay for food, pay for clothes. I, I said that before. Pay for clothes. Uh, you know, you have to take care of them, and that's not simple. They, they, you know, they might have to go to the hospital for many other reasons because kids do, are, do a lot of things. And he, and he's saying that. Well, how dare a parent want to have time to themselves because they're stressed out because they have a job and they have a life, like. Of course parents feel that way. They have, they have a right to feel like that. That doesn't mean that they hate their kid or that they're or they're neglecting their kid because they want to have some time to themselves. That's why they have babysitters. If if a parent leaves a kid on the on their own for like hours and hours and hours and hours of a of days and all that shit, okay, that might be neglectful, etc. But, you know, at some point, they do need a break. That's why they have date night. You fucking take time off from streaming. I, 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 ju I, ju I just can't believe he, he takes time off for streaming. But a parent that might want to have some time to themselves from parenting a kid that's loud and obnoxious, they can't do that because they have a kid. They have to be with their kid 24-7, no time to themselves. And I'm stressed because I don't have enough money for the kid. And I'm stressed because this and this and that. <laughs> These are real world issues. These are real world issues. Of course, people struggle to have to pay for their kid. But you know what? Like this is the it, this is the thing that people need to understand. That people want to have a family. It, it, it's a bio like biologically. We want to have family. We want to to pass on our genes and DNA. That's how like species works. That's that's biologically. That's why we have functions to do that. That's why we have urges. But like you know, we are more advanced as a species to to kind of uh, moderate ourselves. We're not like fucking apes or an or wild animals that just kind of fuck without thinking. But but at the same time, we want to have a family. Get a family. It's not fucking cheap. Nothing in life is cheap. You don't want to go to school to, to you know, to be a doctor. It's, that's not cheap, but, you know, people are willing to, to get through, to get a death sentence to, to, to get to that.
you, you, there has to be sacrifice with these choices. And yeah, it might stress them out that they don't have money to have a kid when they have a kid. But, you know, at the end of the day, they still love their fucking kid. This is like a fucking idiot who watches soap operas and thinks that's how life, real life is. Like, life isn't perfect. No family can afford having a kid unless you're a fucking millionaire or, like, you know, or have a very good job. And, and, and the thing is that people always say to people, like, oh, you're working at McDonald's, you shouldn't have a kid. You know, this and that, but, like, you know, they want to have a kid. You can talk about how it's not responsible, you know, financially, sure. It, but it, it's not a very, it's not a, a black and white issue, as DSP would say, but everything else. You know, having a kid is, is a very complex feeling and emotion because people might want to have a family, even if they know they can't afford one. They might want one, do it anyway, and then just deal with it. And say that, yeah, it's going to suck financially, but you know what, I, I, it's going to be worth it having a kid in my life to take care of and, and you know, etc. There's a lot of stuff that factors into it that's not just financial. But in a financial mind, sure, that, you know, you might say, well, I don't want to have a kid because, you know, I'm, I'm having a hard time taking care of myself. Sure. But not everyone thinks that way because a lot of times people think that they want to have a kid because they... They have this emotional need or desire in their relationship to have one. And they and they might think that they can get away with it by working hard. So for Phil to talk down to people about wanting to have a kid is kind of shitty and it's really, really ignorant about it. And, and it's just he shouldn't be talking about it, honestly. Like, I'm... Like, I could sit there and tell you my personal beliefs why I don't have a kid, but I can only speak for myself. Like... Yeah. So basically, parents being completely irresponsible, right, and not raising the kids properly. How and do, you know so they do they raise their kids? Do they actually, you know, raise the kid, teach them morals, spend time with them? Of course not. I mean, I need time to myself. Therefore, buy the kid a gaming computer, you know, buy the kid... How do you know that, though? Why, how do you know that they just leave their kids at their computer all the time? You know, I, I would like to see how Phil would have a kid. He has a stream, right? But he can't leave the kid alone because he has, because according to him, good parents are always with their kid all the time. So when he takes a day off, he can't take a day off anymore because he has a kid. A fucking iPhone. Buy the kid. A gaming console. Yeah, how dare you get a kid an iPhone so if they uh, get lost or they're, or they're in danger, they can call someone on their phone. I mean, you can argue that maybe you should get a cheaper phone, but, you know, most of the time kids, parents buy iPhones, whatever. But and, and that on its own also, in a way, teaches a kid to be careful of what you, with what you own. Like, you know, through, in my lifetime... I have learned to, to kind of like, if I get something that's like high-end high or, or a lot of money, to take good care of it, or, or the best care that I can, because, you know, it's not cheap, you know? Oh, I, like, if I break my laptop, I'm going to be fucked, because I don't, because, you know, I can't just run out to get a laptop. I have to take good care of it. So that's why I'm, like, careful with it. I don't, I don't do, you know, questionable things with my laptop. Uh, I, I, I make sure that I take care of it. So... Giving a kid an iPhone, be it it's expensive and the kid might fuck with it and break it, but it teaches them a lesson of you need to, to take care of your shit. <laughs> oh. There's kids out there, now, it's crazy. There's kids out there, they're like between the ages of 5 to 13, and they own like incredibly high-end fucking gaming PCs. Yeah, a 5-year-old has a gaming PC, okay. TVs with multiple consoles. I didn't have that shit. You didn't, 4K TV wasn't a thing when you were a kid, Phil. You, what you had was pretty much the high end of stuff for consoles, dummy. Seriously. Like, I didn't own any, any, like, I, I think I owned an Atari 7800, which was gifted to me by my uncle. That's the gaming console I had until one day I remember I went over to my cousin's house and they had a Nintendo. And I was so jealous. I was like, man, this is so much better than what I got. Eventually, I got a Nintendo, and it actually wasn't until the era, the major era, of the SNES, all right? So you're talking, you know, my early teens. That's when I started getting gaming consoles and more electronic, you know, kind of stuff. Early teens? 
The example he gave was also the early teen range. He said 5 to 13 or whatever. 13 and, and 10, 9, 13, what was he, 10, 13, or early teens. That's why when you're 10, 11, and 12 years old, you're the pre-teens. For, you know, my entertainment purposes. Um, but a lot of the time when I was younger, I was outdoors playing with other kids and doing stuff with my parents and stuff. If these parents don't want to parent anymore. So just, yeah, just, that's oh. that's what it is. Kids don't play outside anymore. When you drive around schools, like elementary schools, you're not going to see kids outside. They're going to be inside playing video games, of course. Load a big expensive electronic on the kid to keep them occupied, right? So you end up with these kids who are playing Call of Duty or playing mature rated games they shouldn't be playing. Why do you think every time you play a multiplayer game, you hear these kids screaming at the top of their lungs, right? You know, that's why. Why... <laughs> You go into a, a free online game, and it's all little kids playing it. It's like, but this game is supposed to be, like, mature adults. And, you know, this is why this happens. Um, you know? Irresponsible people. You know what's funny? They're, they're saying oh, kids me. having kids, right? And it used to be kids having kids because young teenagers would have kids, and they're not ready for it. Now, in my opinion, it's people who just don't have a, a mature adult mindset having kids, and then not being taking any responsibility for them. You know? Um... Why do you, again, I don't think any kid above, uh, under the age of a teen should have a high-end gaming PC, a full... How does he know that these kids have high-end gaming PCs, though? He's basing this off, by the way, a kid who played VR chat, who, uh, he wanted to beat up, basically. I mean, I don't know if it's going to be in this video, but it's in, a, it's in a video. But everyone has seen this at this point, so I don't really need to show it, but... He's basing that off of, off a kid in VR chat. He's probably basing it's a high end game PC because his PC is garbage. But you get low end game PC and it won any games, most games pretty well. Like I, 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 I it's just this logic leap is insane. Like he's doing the same thing he should uh, detractors for doing. And he does it all the time. Unlocked iPhone where they have access to any kind of content they want. Free and open access to the internet. You know, I didn't even... Look, when I was like, when I was in high school, like, or even middle school. Middle school. Yeah, it was middle school. Uh, like, 6th, 6th, 8th grade in that period of time, I would, I hanged out with my friend. And me and my friend looked at porn. We weren't 18, obviously, but we looked at porn. Everyone does. Everyone, when you're when you're a fucking teenager, when you understand the fucking internet, you're gonna fucking look at porn. You're not. Don't be fucking Mr. Pure Clean Freak over here. Be like, I never looked at porn. It's for eighteen year olds. So I don't. No, you fucking looked at it. I, I don't have to know you. I. It's obvious. Everyone did it. Everyone did it. Cleo did it. Cleo does it all the time. You know, why do you think my basement flooded? She snuck into my house. One way or the other, flood the basement so you can have a pool, and then she went on my computer. So, guys, come on. Come on. I know her. See? See? You can't hide. You're not, not going to tell me. I'm not going to believe. If you told, if you tell me, oh, I didn't look up porn to you. I, I'm, I'm a pure person. I'm going to laugh because I, I doubt that. Come on. Come in. Tell me. Tell me you didn't look at, at stuff on the internet. Come on. I didn't even go on the internet until... Late high school. <laughs> okay. You know? Okay. I don't know. Listen. The bottom line is, I only see... But, this is, own... uh, but I guess I, 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 I'm I living in the uh, societal nightmare of kids going on the internet, guys. Perspective. I don't have a kid, so I'm not in a situation where I can honestly say, oh, this is the end-all, be-all, this is right or wrong. I'm just giving like, my opinion Five my minutes? observations of things that I've seen. Um... It is sad that, you know, kids now don't really get the kind of parenting that they used to get. They don't get the kind of raising they used to get. They just get here, and they get an iPad thrown in their lap, and they, the, the parent just expects that that's going to raise the kid, right? They No one thinks <sighs> that. They <clears throat> get it so, like, if they're on a road trip, they have something to look at, so they're not, bu you know, not bugging them as they drive. Like, oh, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Like, are you, are, like come on. People still still raise their kids. Don't don't be a fucking baby. Don't be a fucking idiot. Come on. Uh, should I play this? 
No. <laughs> ESP makes like a mortgage reaction to the new terms of service. Mm. Fuck, let's, let's listen to... If, if it's good, I don't... Shout out to Rin Jesse James, who cheers yeah, says, I wish I could it. help, but bad tax advice actually screwed me over too, to the point where I have to take out a second mortgage to pay my taxes. That's not good. That's really bad. Um, you know, that's a really bad situation. Sadly, I looked into taking out a second mortgage. I can't even do it. Because what I'm being told is even though I have equity in my house here, <clears throat> even though I have equity in the house, um, I have too much debt outstanding in my name and no bank would want to lend more money to me. They're basically saying you'd have to pay off some debt. And I'm like, with what money? <laughs> with what money am I going to pay off this debt so that I can take out more money against my house? It doesn't make sense, you know? So I'm screwed. Even though I have significant equity in my home, the only way I'd be able to use it is to sell the house, which again, I don't want to do. That would be the worst case, you know, nastiest, most negative thing probably that's happened to me. He moves in a slave or an alien. She's an alien, guys. We're going to have to settle on that reality that she's an alien. Uh, she moves, he moves her in. And then it's like immediately back to I could lose my house. From a guy who said, well, I can't have kids. I mean, this is financially responsible, but it's not res Oof. Man. Man, oh, man. <laughs> um, if I I'm telling you that... I, I've said this before, and it's not new. It's not a new thing to say, but... He is using this fucking... So, I got so I might have to sell my house. I'm going to lose the house as, as a new enemy. For the, for them to, to pay money to make go away, because before he had like copyright strikes, he had uh, YouTube ad revenue. Now he can't do that anymore because YouTube ad revenue has always been trash now. So he can't really hide behind that anymore, uh, and and he has to find some way to get people to consistently cheer because the moment that he gives them the freedom, the freedom of of, of how to support him, he he gets nervous, and. I've seen this. I've seen this actually. It started last year, uh, like during the summer. During the summer, you guys may not remember this, but around that time, uh, around after April, the cheering started to slow down significantly. It started to like you know, almost be non-existent. And DSP got very fucking. He started sweating. He was like, "Oh man, today's a slow day," and he was struggling for for. To, to get his fans to give him money. He was struggling to find something. And then he was like, and a light bulb clicked. Taxes! My house! That's what I'm gonna use. And then I'm gonna have sub goals? Perfect. And that's what we see now. He's gonna use taxes and sub goals. So, we're never gonna leave. We're never gonna leave the begging saga. The begging saga is forever. He's going to always beg for money because he's a whore. I had to lose my house over the actions of one asshole tax attorney who didn't do his fucking job. And King of Hypocrisy just cheered and said, Phil, are you worried that the new Twitch terms of service are coming into effect because you have people who are trying to get people to falsely report you and get you banned? Listen, I already had a conversation with Twitch a week ago about all this. I have a direct point of contact now with Twitch. Um, and I'm not worried. Want to know why? Because the things that people report me for are always false. Phil did a bullying, abusive thing. And you watch it, you're like, no, he didn't. <laughs> like, you, if you spin this in the most ridiculous, extreme possible way, which is not what happened in the context of the stream, um, then you could try to say, oh, yeah, Phil did something, you know. But no, the things that people are trying to false report are not true at all. <clears throat> They're not. So... So what I understand from this new Twitch goal, this Twitch goal, Twitch rule, is that you cannot, like, if you have a mod, probably, that is toxic or is negative and all that kind of stuff, it could also punish the streamer. So, DSP's favorite mod, the best mod in the world, uh, everyone loves him, that Anonosaurus Rex, Aka, that Anonosaurus not, oh my god, an, an, an anonymous, that anonymous, that anonymous baby, uh, no, uh, whatever, that anonymous, that anonymous bear, that anonymous rex, this guy, this fucking cuck, 
Racist. He's a racist, too. I'm going to start calling that because that apparently triggers him. I wonder if he's going to cry about me now because I, uh, I said he's a racist. But, uh, so he says uh, that I'll box Tevin. Uh, punch that scrutiny ass in the face because, you know, that not as strikes strike is a very, very uh, tough guy. Obviously, you know, I guarantee, I guarantee he's that kind of guy. If he sees Tevin in real life, he's going to be like, oh, oh. And then runs off because he's a little bitch. And then, uh, then he says, "Oh, I also, I also, <laughs> this is funny." So, uh, Spranken says, "You should, uh, that uh, not a sore bitch. You should cheer and tell him, tell him that since YouTubers are now boxing, that he should box Tevin." And then that not source Rex says, "25 bit cheer there." That didn't do what the guy said. He said he should cheer what he just said. And he just says, there. Wow, then, not as far as Rex. Your, your reading comprehension is, is really on point. And then he says, Tevin's ethnicity is what we call a guilty. And then he's like, that's, that's not racist, guys. I'm not, I'm not fucking racist. It's kind of it's kind of racist because you're, you're saying that his ethnicity is guilty. And then... And th so he says this, he, and, he, and this guy is consistently toxic. Consistently, he he shits on War Dog Leader all the time. If the opportunity comes, he he fucking goes on about it. He's like, well, well, see, he could be lying about that. So fuck it. This guy is the most toxic fucking person I have seen. And I fucking can't stand it. Every time I see uh, Tevin or or anyone cap anything that this guy says. Part of me dies more than I listen to DSP. This guy is the is so fucking annoying, and he thinks he's fucking funny and smart and this and that, and he fucking isn't. And then he goes on and says, "I hate him. I hate that guy. Fucking cunt, tell me a racist." The guy and, and the best part is that he bragged. They'll go, "What's Tevin gonna do? Cry about me in a video?" And since then, Tevin has never talked about this guy, by the way, fun fact. And the only one talking about it is dead Norosaurus Rex. The only one crying about it. Amazing. Amazing. Like, it, it, it's the same shit of when someone says, I don't care, when they talk about... It's like Vice said, I don't care about DSP after doing all these videos about him. It's the same fucking, like, impression if I did that. But at least I'm not dumb enough to say that. And then he goes on and says, Real cheer. There's a fad where YouTubers box each other, so you should box that guy Tevin in the choker. Why? Because he called you a fucking racist? That, that not so respect. You're not really disproving him. And the, and the best part, I wish I could show you, but, you know, uh, the thread is gone on the forums. I, I should have sa saved it, but it is what it is. This guy, based himself saying this dumb shit because of, of a comedian and it's like yeah but comedians are usually funny and they usually have context with what they say this is like there's no context it's literally him saying that he we call it guilty i hate the guy uh, because he called you a racist so so what's the joke because it doesn't sound like you're joking it like there's no tone here that that comes off that way because you you, you said you fucking hate the guy. And I do believe you hate him because you cried about him for like four days. He talked about him since the Ask the King video. Like, I'm sure it's even in the part where he got banned, where, um, uh, DSP yelled at him and, and Dan Anonymous uh, sucked his dick after doing that. He's a fucking dumbass of a fucking mod, and, and it's just ridiculous. And, uh, and I've said this on Twitter, I'll say it now. If there's gonna be a mod that's gonna get DSP banned from Twitch, it's gonna be him. It's gonna be that Nana Mouse because he's a fucking retard. Well, let's continue. Having a negative opinion on someone or something that happened is not against Twitch terms of service. All right. If I harped on it for an hour, massively making personal insults against someone, then yes, that. What kind of a uh, uh, a fucking goal guy guideline is that? Well, well, he talked about him for one minute and called him a whore. Okay, that's okay. Oh, you, you talked about, about an hour about him being a whore? Okay, now we ban him. Like, it's the same fucking shit. Get out of here.
that is against Twitch terms of service. But just saying Excuse something me. negative against someone or some people, you know, casually in response to casually. something that was said in the stream chat is not against Twitch terms of service. Okay? Making an offhanded quick joke in response to someone who's insulted me blatantly on stream when I don't even know who they are and I just stepped into a room. Still crying about the about Nine Tails. Nine Tails really fucked him. He really he really got inside his mind. Lately, him and El Presidor got into DSC's head because he can't stop talking about them. But like that kid that said, oh, "I was right behind you, idiot." Like because it was kind of a dumb thing to ask. Like, oh, how do I leave? Like he played the game and and he, and the kid called him an idiot. And he's and he's saying, "Oh, for one minute straight." Did did the uh, kid say? Yo, like, did he say it like in the fucking slow motion, uh, speed? Like, what? Okay. Right, and I'm basically being polite to that person, and they're polite. They to you me. fucking roasted the guy for having a fucking uh, PC. <laughs> okay, and still, and still, even then, even then, that still did not warrant physical. Violence. If the kid went on to say, "You're a piece of shit, human. I really fucking hate you. You're garbage. Oh, uh, you know, whatever." If he said malicious shit, then okay, I could, I could maybe see that. But he just said, "You just called you an idiot." Remember when DSP said that uh, if you get triggered by being called an idiot, that there's something wrong with you? Yeah, I remember that <laughs> for a minute. And then I make an offhanded comment oh, in another room. It's not against fucking Twitch terms of service. Excuse I don't me, know. Sir. Oh, Jesus Christ. Can you please go in the waiting room? Can you please go into the waiting room? That's the first thing Nine Tails told him. Can you please go in the waiting room? Sure, where is the waiting room? Right behind you, idiot. You click on that. You didn't have to call me an idiot. I just walked in the door. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Well, if you look around, you would have been able to know. Wow, what that was that was harsh, man. Idiot. And you should look around. Wow. The nerves. If someone told me said, Theo, you're like if I said, Where's my lamp? And someone said, Oh, behind you, idiot, I would be like, What? And then and I, I would say, like, look, I was asking a question, where was the lamp? And then you told me that I should look around. Man, you fucking Cross the line, okay? You can call me all kinds of things, but saying idiot and saying I should look around before asking questions is is fucking mean and rude, and I would punch you for that, okay? Totally understandable. Everyone around me, if you go into real life and I and, and I tell everyone that that's what happened, they would probably oh, you know join in. They'd probably hold you down, okay? Because obviously that's okay to to inflict physical violence. Obviously, obviously, guys. I mean, let's be real. Okay. It literally says waiting room on top. <laughs> it literally wow. says literally, and he's like, this guy roasted me. He fucking roasted me. You're quite rude. Wow. You're quite rude. The thing is so, it's fucking obvious. Like, like, if so, if someone asked me, hey, can you tell me the color, the, uh, the color of the sky, I, I wouldn't be fucking polite. I'd be like, I don't know, dude. It might be green. Because it's a fucking dumb question. You can't look up and, and see the... I mean, maybe if the person's colorblind, but that's information that you probably would tell me before asking me that question. Ugh... You're 11. I'm 11. Deal with it. Nine Tails. Nine Tails is the best Pokemon. Tbh. <laughs> and your parents bought you a gaming PC. What's wrong with this picture? But but, but Phil, uh, you you said uh, you didn't go that you know, usually you didn't get a console and stuff until your early teens. 11 is early teens. <laughs> Busted. Got him. <laughs> Skewered. Probably because I'm part wolf. <laughs> because I'm part you wolf. Click on it, just so you know. God. You click on it. Oh. <laughs> that, that's something. Good. Now I'm away from that annoying fucking bitch of a kid who I would have slapped in real fucking life if they talked to me like that. <laughs> I would have fucking pimp slapped that shit out of that. <laughs>
Is this what your Liana? The fuck? Anyway. The things these people are trying to get me you know, in trouble for are so ridiculously stupid, asinine, and and just they're they're, they're ludicrous. The, 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 they're but ludicrous. that's what, like I said. What I think is going to happen today in particular. Uh. All right. What I think is going to happen today in particular, you're going to get one million people doing million. false uh false reports against me. Okay. Um. Because they're going to try to get me in trouble for stuff I'm not doing. Right. Um, in fact, I just banned someone in the stream chat being a complete moron because he claims that I'm violating Twitch terms of service when I'm not. Uh, let's see. Feigning distress, I'll lose my house unless forbids engagement. Uh, Channel 33 speaks the truth. That, that is exactly, uh, you know, how we... Uh, man, I, I kind of wish... I, I don't think I did a video on this. But it's too late now, and I'm not gonna fucking search for that video. But he, uh, I talked, I think I talked about this in the last video. But in short, uh, he clearly codes money with participation all the time. Like, it, it, it he proved it by saying, Well, it wasn't my old video, I probably said participation, and people thought I was talking about clicking on the ads. But he literally said clicking on the ads in the video, you know. So it's obvious that he's talking about fucking participation and what participation means. Like he's he thinks he's slick with this. Like I, I'm sorry, Phil, but I'm not a fucking retard. I I, I can kind of put two and two together. Ah, ladies okay. and gentlemen, I'm gonna make something abundantly clear. Be a better to all person, though. That, that's a good. You may quote. promote subscriptions and tips on Twitch. It is 100% allowed. You can have goals, you can have motivational tactics to get people to sub to the channel or to tip you. It's 100% allowed. You can also do the same thing for Patreon, and you could do exactly the same thing for merchandise sales. It's all allowed. Okay? 100% allowed. But, like, the, the thing that people are wondering, the thing I wonder, because I talked about uh, the guy who uploaded that video about when he got suspended, I commented saying, like, oh, I don't know about subs or something, and he said that it counts for everything. Everything is included. Like, you can't use subs as a currency. Like, you can't use tell people that the subs are going to go to the taxes or something. I don't know. Like, I'm going to assume it is because I do see, I have seen uh, Twitch streamers have sub goals, but, like, they usually don't say where the sub goal money goes to. Like, they might say, like, oh, this will go into getting, like, a, a fight stick or something, but, like, I don't know. I I I'll let that slide. I'll let the sub I'll let the sub slide. Tips though, I don't know. Tips I don't know. So if you're an idiot who thinks otherwise because you don't know how to read English, you should be somewhere else. Because false reporting me doesn't work. There's so many people who fa false reporting doesn't work. He got suspended last week. Okay. Also support me on a daily basis. Saying Same I've song and dance. And you know, I'm going to give a shout out to Goutside Phil here. I'm going to give him a, give him a little shout out be, uh, because he brought up a very good point that, uh, you know, I might have been one of these people that kind of said that may have been a defeatist, but he says, reporting Phil has has gone and kicked from Blip TV, a cheer sponsorship revoked, audited by Washington, his words, and suspended on Twitch. Can we stop with the reporting Phil does nothing? Uh, the like I, I kind of agree with you, Gout like Phil. I, 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 I get I get it. I get it because uh you know the one thing that we talked to this one other Twitch guy, and he said that usually the only reports that they listen to are the ones that sound more legit and and real. Uh you know, something that that, that they that has ground and they usually go after those kind of reports and look into those reports. Not like oh DSP did this and something like that. Like, doesn't, they don't go after, like, you know, troll reports. So they do look at the reports. The only reason why I, I, I said personally that I don't think reporting does anything is because uh, it has to be latent. It has to be very, very, very specific. Because I think if because when, D, when DSP says participation, that's enough for Twitch to be like, okay... That's, he didn't, he, that's, that's fine. That doesn't really violate the rules. You have to get him when he actually violates that. And, I, and that's what people should be getting him on. Uh, because he does that specifically, like the one with the VR chat. He can, he, he might have a, you know, that might be a good case to getting reported. So, I wouldn't say necessarily 
to stop reporting him, but I would say report him on something that, that is blatant, like an idiot can see. Because if he because he words all these things weirdly, and he can get away with that kind of stuff just just barely. So you need to get him when he when he does something that is so blatant. And arguably that might that might not be blatant for other people, but it does report him when what you think is blatantly breaking terms of service. So that's all I'm gonna say about that because reporting does do stuff. It does do stuff, but. Uh, you have to you have to find something that is that is like blatant and he cannot make an excuse for, it. because you can definitely tell when he doesn't have an excuse for it when he either drops it and never goes back to it, or when he disbands it immediately. Like look at the fundraising stuff. He doesn't want to address that he got suspended because fundraising is what got him suspended, and he's not saying that word anymore, and he will never talk about it because he has no excuse for why he got suspended. So instead of saying some made-up lobbies, he would, he would default to a lie way before telling the truth. So, if he can't come up with a lie, he'll, uh, he'll push a, uh, he'll push nothing. I violated Twitch terms when I never do that it's become the boy never. who cried wolf. You guys are, are so stupid flooding Twitch's inbox with things about me that are false that they, you know, how are they ever even going to find, let's say, in a rare occurrence, of me being Last human week. and having weakness, that I actually did do something wrong. How would they even find it when you, these idiots are flooding their inboxes with false crap all the time? Because the uh, the thing is, is that if one person reports you for something that's real, most of the times those other trolls will report the same thing, exactly, and it's gonna be real too. Like, is this by chance? But okay. Seriously. Say how you're invincible. <laughs> it doesn't, like, they're so dumb. Seriously, like, how he's dumb could you like be? He's like Sundowner from Rising. But they're literally so I'm dumb, invincible. they don't realize they're, they're being counterproductive. They don't understand that. They're that and, dumb. And, I, and the other thing uh, that Goutside said that, and I agree with, because I think I might have said this too, but if in case I didn't, I'll go on the record now and say this. He says this because he wants to demotivate people from reporting him. That's really why he said he's saying this. That's why he's like, "Oh, well, I'm afraid of Twitch. I'm a cat tech, dude. I have someone on the inside. We talk and this that they they look out for me." And I sat there and I was like, "He's saying this just to deflect people or demotivate them from reporting him." It's the same shit that he said he did with Machinima. Oh, Machinima got my back. Did they have his back? No. So I don't believe. This fucking shit for a second. The only way I'll believe it, the only way, would be if he blatantly, 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 blatantly breaks terms of service completely where, like, everyone on that website agrees, everyone on the planet agrees unanimously, and Twitch is like, nah, nah, he's good. And it's like, you know, but, uh, we'll see. I don't believe that because he got suspended and suspensions don't go away. Um, I, I just don't get it. You know, again, if they had brains in their fucking heads, they would realize that what they're doing is not going to do anything negative against me at all. And I'm not going anywhere. I'm not getting banned from Twitch. Like I said, I now have a direct point of contact. Um, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? I have a direct, no, direct point of contact with them to talk to people. Everything's fine. There's no problems here, folks. Nothing. Everything is good. And I don't understand why people think that by false flagging me for shit I'm not doing, it's somehow going to get me into trouble. It's not. Regardless of what some random ass... Okay, guys. Uh, report uh, that anonymous. I guarantee. I guarantee he's going he's gonna to say something racist and that could get him. That could get him. That I, I really would love it. Love it, love it, love it. If... His channel gets suspended again because of that anonymous. I would be so fucking happy because that guy is ridiculous. Okay, then, uh, talking about El Presidor. You know, person on YouTube who I'd never heard of before, know nothing about, is once again another YouTuber decides to mm -hmm. step up and make drama vlogs about me because it's the only way they can get any fucking attention on their defunct YouTube channel. Mm. 
Um, Defunct, eh? It doesn't mean that I actually did anything wrong. It just means that person's an attention-seeking whore who has no other way to get attention than to talk shit about me, like many other people in the past. I mean, it's certainly not the first rodeo for me where I've dealt with this kind of crap. Okay. Let's <clears throat> see. Because according to... Okay. Oh, it was over. Okay. So we're going to get into that, but let's look at his views. Because obviously he, he went to Phil to get views, right? 5.8k views on uh, LeBron James is inhuman. 2.1 uh, thousand views on C on SETI Osmond sucks. Women strike school kids. Uh, 3k 3,000 views. Uh, three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri review. 2.6k views. I mean, look, oh, look, this guy is struggling, right? He's struggling to get views. Hmm, man. DSP is right. Let's go to DSP Gaming. Let's see. Let's look at his channel. He's obviously, he should be... What the fuck? <laughs> Do all this stuff before getting to his channel. That's funny. Uh, Hello, everyone. Dark Side Phil here. Everyone. So, let's see. 411 views. 1,000 views. Uh, 447 views. 20, 242 views. That's, that's uh, pretty bad. 3,000, 1.6k, man, he fills his rolling the views in comparison, right guys? Yeah, yeah El Prezor is the one that is uh, struggling for views, clearly, clearly. Now let's get to this. <laughs> now, one final thing, folks. Um, Folks. In regards to my tax situation, which if you have been watching streams recently, I've been mentioning it, but I haven't really mentioned it on YouTube in a long time, all right? I do have an update. This last week, I finished my taxes, meaning I sat down, I got all the information oh together, God. I saw what I made versus what it looks like I, I had for expenses, what I'm probably going to end up owing for taxes come in April. In April, I've got three big sums of taxes due. Number one, the remaining taxes that I still owe for I like how he it went from like two to three because I could have sworn that he said he had two taxes in April. Now it's three. 2017 federally because I did. Now what did he pay in, in 2017? In January. What did he pay in January? Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna, I, I got to look. So this, this is going to be a long video apparently, but it shouldn't be that bad because I think Mr. Hoth uh, it doesn't have too much tweets to, uh, to, to, uh, sift through, but we should be able to find it. Oh, oh, here it is. Cool. I just got an update on my taxes. So basically, the business and occupation tax that I was going to owe as a big lump sum at the end of January is now taken care of. And I had more than enough money to pay for it, which is great. And I actually got a $100 small business tax credit. He has a tax, he has a $100 tax credit. He could put that tax credit towards these taxes, couldn't he? Hmm, I wonder. Didn't know what they were because I made a lot more money in December than I normally would. So now I owe more money, but I don't know how much it's going to be. But I owe something. There's left over something I owe that I haven't paid yet. Number two, my first estimated federal tax payment for 2018 is due in April as well. I don't know what that's going to be. That's completely 100% reliant on the new tax codes that are going that were uh, passed earlier this year by the federal government. And I don't know if that means my taxes go up, my taxes go down. I have no idea. So I don't know yet. Number three gonna say this if his taxes go down then you know he makes a lot of money because these uh, from what I've seen for these proposed these uh this tax deal that that got pushed is that if you make a lot of money or like a certain amount over a certain threshold you uh, get tax cuts but if you make less you kind of pay a little bit more that's that's what it what I saw uh, and if, so if his taxes go down, you'll know he makes good money, but I'm no, I'm no tax attorney. I can't, I can't tell you anything, okay? Okay. <laughs> I'm supposed to be told either late this month or early April by the state of Washington 
the remainder of what I owe for back taxes for the state of Washington. Because remember, the whole story I told you last year about the accountant that screwed me over. It's still rearing its ugly head. It's certainly not over yet. I've got two and a half years of back taxes. I somehow need to figure out two how to pay. I don't have the money for it. They said so they're three. supposed to figure out what it is that I owe. What? And then apparently, hopefully, okay. you know, knock on wood, put me on a payment plan so I don't have to pay it all at once because I don't. Of course they're going to put you on a payment plan. Why wouldn't they put you on a payment plan? How dumb do you think the government is? The government wants money, right? They want money. They, they, they want you to pay. They pay what you owe, right? Yeah, of course. If you can't afford it at that time, they're going to you know, say, like, okay, well, we'll put you on a payment plan. They might give you, you know, insane interest on it, but they'll put you on a payment plan. Why wouldn't they put you on a payment plan? And I like how now it's back to, I don't know. Holy shit, guys. We found another scam here. Holy shit. He lied again. Because he said uh, in November and a little bit in December, I don't know if they can put me on a payment plan. Who knows? I don't know. And then... And when January came around, well, they, they, uh, they should put me on a payment plan. Payment plan. I'm going to be on, put on a payment plan for the back taxes. And now it's, I don't know if they're going to put me on a payment plan again. I wonder why he's unsure of it being on a payment plan. I wonder, could it be to, to guilt trip his fans again? Man, that'd be crazy. Don't have the money, and I could pay it off gradually over the course of several years. Okay, <clears throat> so all that being said, three different taxes are going to be due in April. Guess what, folks? Do I have some money? Yes, I do. I have money that's yeah. saved up, as I told you guys some previously. Money. You guys saved my butt back in late 2017 because we did all that stuff on Twitch. You supported me butt. so much. I raised extra funds, and I was able to get through that hurdle, which was the back taxes for 2017 for the state of Washington. Yeah, was Paid video. those and was able to pay my Holy tax shit. attorney and even had some left over that's, that's just been like sitting in my bank really account over. waiting for these federal taxes to come up. But to pair with that, sadly... My federal taxes now went up because I made more money at the end of 2017 than I normally would have. Plus, guess what? Um, the months of January and February on YouTube were the worst ever. YouTube ad revenue, pff, even worse than last year when they had the adpocalypse. It's even worse Twitch now. Is good. So I Twitch? made the least I ever made on YouTube in January and February. So even though things were good on Twitch, it just kind of evens out on YouTube and they come out to be average months. Not good because I'm looking to make extra money to pay these taxes coming up and I'm just making enough money to pay my bills. Where's the tax money going to come from, okay? Well, I Just making enough money to pay my bills. Where's the tax money going to come from? <laughs> Here we go. Space. From, okay? Where's it going to come from? The reason I'm bringing this up, <laughs> very like, simply well, put, I need your help. It's literally like he's telling his fans subliminally, you, or the tax money is coming from you. <laughs> When you're coming to my live streams, if you can, please tip me. Meaning there's a section below my stream where you can click. It's a tip section. It brings you to a tips page. Anything you oh tip me, God. those funds I get you right away. You're going to obviously get a shout out on the stream for it. If you tip me five bucks or more on streams, you'll actually get a, a verbal pop-up thank you in the corner too. And on top of all that, all right, um, if you pledge to my Patreon, that also helps. Because anything you pledge to my Patreon right now for the month of March... I will get in time to help with those taxes. So if you're on streams, please tip me. If you're not on stream and you're just watching my YouTube videos, please Ooh, pledge to my Patreon this month. Either one would help me Ouch. tremendously with these upcoming Man, taxes. Now, is it the end of the world if I can't pay these taxes? Bad. No, but it's certainly not good. All right? What it means is that now, because I didn't pay all the taxes that I owed, now there's late fees, there's interest involved, and the, basically the amount that I owe just keeps going up and up and up to the point where, again, I'm nervous, just like I was last year at the end of the year, I may have to sell my house by the end of the year if I can't and get by these taxes. Your right? house. This is sell be your house. There's no point. Like, the universe is like telling him to sell his house, and he refuses to sell, to leave that luxurious house. He wants to die in that fucking overly expensive house. He doesn't need that fucking house. Ugh. be something every quarter I have to tackle. The good news is. After this April payment, it's just one payment of the federal taxes a quarter, which is fine. That, okay, I can probably handle that and juggle that, but this now... Okay, okay. He's, you're, his fans will never be off the leash. Remember last year? Remember last year where he said, oh man, 
after after March or April, whatever month, month it was, you can uh, support me however you want. You have freedom and this and that, right? He said that. After that, we all know what happened. It never it never came. It never happened. He went back to uh, pushing tips and <laughs> Patreon and all this other stuff. <laughs> He's like, oh my god. He's, Sink through my, my trade. So now we're this year, and it's like it never ends. His fans will never, never hear the end of having to pay certain in a certain way. They'll never be free. And there is one video I did I did want to throw in, but Oh that might have been my Ask King video, where it blatantly said shows that he he wants people to donate air, on all platforms except for Teespring. Teespring is the only way, the only one you don't have to go to. Okay. Three payments coming up, one for these fucking back taxes, one for extra taxes that normally I wouldn't have owed, and now my normal tax payment all at once, I'm screwed. I don't even know what to do. All right, and I don't want to have these lingering taxes on the back of my fucking mind, killing me into pounding my head. Oh my god, now pounding. every day I gotta have these negative shit on my back on stream because I gotta worry about taxes, taxes, taxes. Please, anything that you can lend, any help. Once we're past April, it'll look Man. a lot more positive, and if I can focus more job, on the daily content and not have to worry about this shit. But for the next month and a half, you know it's going to be on I my remember, fucking mind every Remember, he said that Kat would have a job, and she'd be able to pay, pay the bills and all this other stuff. So, so he can't get anything from her? Man. Man, I wonder. I wonder if the alien is going to leave the, uh, the house. <laughs> <laughs> every day so anything you could do to help or, or support is appreciated either tipping or patreon both of those things right now would be tremendously helpful and i'm very grateful for anyone who does either of those because you guys are basically helping me out in a big way all right um how much do i owe i have no idea i won't no idea my accountant slash uh tax attorney sits down and tells me that sometime in march I won't know what I owe for these back state taxes until the person from Washington state figures it out and tells me and tells me if they're going to put me on a payment plan. So it could be until up until the point when it's due, I may not even know what I owe. All right. I wish I could tell you. Because okay. then I can say, oh, well, I got this much extra. Then it wasn't due. Here's what I owe. Here's what I need to raise. I can't even do that. I can't even freaking do that right now because I have no idea what I owe. I can tell you this. It's going to be thousands of dollars. That's all I know. It's going to be thousands. Oh. It has to be. Um, based that really my income down. versus what I already paid and my expenses last year, it looks like it's going to be thousands of dollars. So, anything helps, okay, folks? Um, all right, that's it. Maybe you shouldn't be begging for a lot of money if you don't want your taxes to go up. It. For the week of preview, thank you guys for being patient. I hope you enjoy the big variety of content. I'll be live streaming every single day this week on Twitch. Okay, we're done. We're done here. Uh, thank you. So, thank you for watching this video, but I got something special. For you guys, if you stay tuned past this point. So I got this idea from Butch Hartman. He has a great YouTube channel. Check that shit out. It's a really good channel. But he usually ends some of his videos with drawing something on a big whiteboard. So I'm going to do something similar to that. I'm going to draw something on my computer, on my computer program. I'm going to draw each character and it's going to be this expanding thing. And we're going to see how much we can fill of characters that you request. Now, how it's going to work is that you just comment what character you want to see me draw or whatever, and I'll pick whichever one at random or whichever one that I see first, etc. It's going to be random each video. You'll never know until you see the end of the video. So, uh, for the first character I'm going to draw in this video is obviously none other than Eliza from Skullgirls because clearly I like that character way too much. So, here's Eliza.